was not the idea, but that's how we, what we have done. Good morning. Que la planta que proviene de la cultura agrícola. Yeah. And so when we have agri-business soil, Así que cuando tenemos suelo agroindustrial, the plant is exposed to a totally different underground. La planta está expuesta with people who come from Mexico, they like to teach. They like to teach biodynamics and to uh, the people from further south, from Colombia, from Ecuador, they try to establish um, schools and introduce it into their orchards, avocado orchards and so forth. Uh, they find that the natural method by introducing composts by the ton uh, does not work anymore. The trees are overfed, they become sick, it's like uh, someone who's eaten too much. And they would like to see whether the quality, what we offer them, the preparations, whether these quality preparations can help them to reduce what they have to transport into their uh, growing areas by the thousands of tons. We just wanted to try to not have um, too much overlap. You want it to, when you tie it up, so it's relatively, you know, it stays together, it's not falling apart. Immediately after you put it into the soil, there's not, there's not a drying process. Even though if it's just starting, they've done a lot because, for example, the, the group of uh, the avocados producers, they are starting to work biodynamics in 600 acres, which is quite a considerable uh, surface. So that is talking about the production. And he thinks that the other important point is the educational, to establish a school that will form a theoretically and, and all the methodology of how to use these biodynamic preparations and that will make a solid structure to improve and to expand a biodynamic agriculture. In 30 and 30 we have 90 degrees, we have 90, 180, so we have 360 in this count of years. People are interested to, to improve the production. They realize the production through chemical fertilizing is not working anymore. So they don't know much about this, but they had the feeling that that could help. And it's growing. That's very interesting. And people uh, is coming to see other alternatives. The other one is if you are presenting this, and you are giving also more information about what nutrition means in the human being uh, in relationship with health and feeling and thinking, so they are more interested. So that's the situation in moment in Mexico. It's really a good moment because they are hungry of something new that could help. You need to tie it the bottom afterwards? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more. Okay. A little bit. Sort of like yeah, breaking it down. Scaving it still it smells, it smells like chamomile a little bit. There are many biodynamic farms all over the United States. Uh, it's obviously much less used in, in the commercial than commercial agriculture with chemicals and even much less than organic agriculture. But biodynamics is definitely growing, and one of the greatest areas we're seeing of growth is in the uh, vineyard and the winemaking world. In biodynamics we're looking for quality and we're not necessarily going after quantity and especially um, when you're producing a crop for making wine you're not looking for that uh, high yields but you're looking for really high quality grapes. And so people are having amazing results uh, with producing some of the best wines possible um, using the biodynamic methods. Uh, it has been said that nine times out of ten uh, in a blind taste testings with biodynamics wine, biodynamic wines went out over all the other wines, even the top vineyards elsewhere, the biodynamic wines always win. The interaction with human beings, the trees, the growing area, 
um, the barn, the animals, everything. This is a real biodynamic enterprise. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Look at this. Yeah. My experience in Seda, in these two times I was here, in April and now in fall, is really a very, very nice and tremendous. I saw how many people are coming here and see with interest and curiosity how really the earth has more than only energy or substances to give in the food. And I see here a school where it's taking place a transformation slowly in, in bigger areas because people that are coming here is going where they are come from. For example, in this uh, point, the Mexicaner, they were here and they are doing something right now at the university or other schools or in small schools and uh, well, it's the like a uh, place who is giving the us the opportunity the to learn how to change. You have the violins, you have the cello, everybody's playing. 